From a lifetime of love and now a growing fear for our natural world, my challenge is to climb some of the world's biggest and most beautiful trees, all in the name of promoting reforestation. We have all played a part in this destruction, and now we all need to play a part in its regeneration. We only have one world, and the future of it, and all its inhabitants is in our hands. So come climb with me as I seek out spectacular specimens and spruce social change. I am Kit, and welcome to Kit Climbs. Hello, gorgeous. Whoa, aren't you looking good today? Hey, <laughs> Pirate Beach. It's our destination today. <laughs> I saw it on the map and couldn't resist myself, so. And uh, that's where I'm heading, and it looks like there's a bit of a clearing that I can um, hopefully find a couple of trees that have been left standing and just rig stuff up and, and have a crack there. So, yeah, let's see what we find on the way as well. Found this place, looks like another, another result of COVID. But right on the beach. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really understand what this place was. It's confusing. Maybe some little shops, but whatever. It failed, so what a waste. But we ain't got time for this. Back on the bike, let's go. Nice. Cool corner. Eww. Hard on the brakes. And then, and then, and then, and me down almost, <laughs> maybe not. Go scooter, go! Oh, speed demon over here, guys. <laughs> Watch out. So I've just arrived in Colanta Old Town and it's a cute little town in itself and it's got this great gear that I've never come across something like this before that you can ride all the way down, all the way to the end and back. Good fun. <laughs> lighthouse right there and a shipwreck so <laughs> I'm assuming that lighthouse was out of service for a while um, it does look like it's solar powered now but that's funny <laughs> So I just wanted to take a little detour down the main road of the town to check it out. And it's, got, it's lovely that they've kept it very traditional, all of the little houses that have perched out over the, over the ocean, but yeah, then I came across this. That's a bit sad. Oh, well this feels awkward. This feels really awkward. Just keep moving. So that is exactly what I did. I went as far away as, from there as possible. Uh, it wasn't a problem to go down there. It just felt very awkward. And I mean, look at where I am now. So much nicer, huh? It's really lovely. This area is um, definitely of the island so far this is the least sort of developed particularly in terms of the fact that the forest is still here and like and the way that it should be which is like, amazing look at just these beautiful trees all around so many varieties and species as well that's that's the most important thing it must be the beach spot down there if you can make it out on the map there but there is a huge clearing right here um at least there is on the map because if we're I'll be honest with you, I can't find it. <laughs> I can't find it. Um, I'm going to just keep checking around, but it looks like it's been left to self-revegetate, which, <laughs> which is amazing. I cannot find any way up into here, except just there. Um, but it is all natural revegetation, so that's very exciting. Uh, it just means that I have to go and find something else, but um, no idea what that sign says or means. Um, but let's go and see what's going on just down here wow all right i think i'll be able to find something here what a place oh deep sand that's fun i think i have a little surprise for everyone 
What did I say he just threw it here? Maybe this will be a little bit of a hint as to what I've found here. Not normally something that we come across just down by the beach. I can't resist myself trying to say hello. Very gorgeous. Yeah, that's so pretty. I think it kind of just has free roam through here, so yeah, lovely. What an experience. Very beautiful. And she's just giving herself a bath. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> That's great. Hey, gorgeous thing. Oh, yeah, you're smiling because you're pooping. <laughs> <laughs> I do the same thing. Okay, not a bad spot. Beachfront real estate <laughs> for an elephant. Not so bad. But uh, yeah, I think I found a spot. I'm pretty stoked on what I've ended up finding. This is my tree. That's my branch. I'm just gonna try to get a, I'm just gonna put one on try. Hopefully I can just get a rope just over that, uh, over that branch there. And then the idea is just to sort of like put my gear on um, and see if what I've got will actually support my weight. There's a couple of knots that I've tied. Not overly confident in the quality of the rope, um, nor my quality of knot tying. So better to test them out before I try and get myself up a big tree. So uh, yeah, let's have a look. Okay, first thing. Let's get the rope. Uh, well, I haven't tied that very well now, have I? <laughs> so all I actually need to do is get this, uh, just over this, right above me. So very simple um, in this case. Nice. That's a bit of hard. Oh. Hey, first time. I mean, it wasn't a big one, but that could have been embarrassing. All right. That's all I need. Let's, uh, let's get the harness on. Okay, I guess with the harness, the thing is, is that, uh, well, you guys are just gonna have to get to know me um, pretty well, pretty quickly. So <laughs> there's no more beating around the bush. Um, these things are absolutely not flattering. Ugh. It's like getting into a little black dress. Mm. Cause I know how <laughs> that feels, of course. Everything else feels. Oh, yeah, well, there's no hiding. I've got a big bum in this thing, that's for damn sure. <laughs> ah, that's all right, but this is what I need to do. Let's just get it. Yeah, like I said, excuse me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, yeah. We're going to get to know each other. Well, at least you guys are going to get to know me pretty well. Um, let me get a better, <laughs> not, so, uh, not so obtrusive angle. Yeah, uh, yeah lesson one. Um, Make sure you put your rope away properly because this is just... Okay, this is where I think my problem, <laughs> my problem sort of lies. I've, I fashioned up this, uh, this connection here that um, is meant to be kind of the main thing that keeps me going up and down the rope. It allows me to go up and then it stops me from falling back down. Um, and I'm not super, super confident. So that is what we are testing out today, but I have to just pull it off. I put it at the wrong end of the rope or I put the wrong end of the rope up. So um, yeah, just uh, give me a minute to just pull this through. I mean, I could fast forward it, but <laughs> just, just make you guys suffer with me. <laughs> Okay, um, firstly, I believe, from my recollection, the way that I've got it set up, this one goes right here. Okay, good start. <laughs> and now I uh, connect this end of the rope to this carabiner here. So I'm meant to be able to pull this through here and like, like this. Oh, yeah, there's the problem. The, the knot that I've tied here, it's just not gonna, like it should stop me. To my knowledge, it should, <laughs> yeah, it's not tight, whatever is going on here. Like the quality of the rope isn't good. It's just not tight, so yeah, you can see I'm just falling. 
That is a bit of a bummer, guys. I'm not gonna end the video just here, though, because I have a nice sunset to catch. <laughs> you couldn't see it, but, oh, the motorbike is getting slippery. <laughs> like that. I need a side stand. Come on, that's the good thing about <laughs> these light little things. You can. Ah, there we go. Woo! Go, little click. Oh, this off roading. That's effortless. What a beast. Okay, stepping forward like an hour and a half or something like that, I have just arrived on the other side of the island. I'm looking to head to an abandoned uh, yoga retreat. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. The sun's got like an hour and a half left, so this is going to be perfect. Like, this is going to be absolutely banging. Uh, an abandoned resort all to myself. All right, got my trusty thongs on. Um, already a classic, a classic Asian beach littered with styrofoam foam. Packaging, plastic tarp. Okay, well that didn't last long. Uh, it's way easier to walk in bare feet. Uh, way more safe. I was definitely going to hurt myself. Thankfully I've got pretty durable feet. It's still soft and smooth as well. I mean, you walk on this stuff a knife, actually. If anything, it exfoliates you more than anything. It's all coral. Big bits of coral. Yeah, rub that on your skin. Mmm, lovely. Nice and soft. Um, wow, there's a sea snake right there. Holy crap. Look at that thing. That is beautiful. too close because sea snakes are incredibly venomous. I've got a bit of an extension on the camera. Its tail's been eaten. So it's definitely injured and escaped something, but I feel like it's going to survive. Not a problem. So, beautiful snake. Very poisonous, but also not aggressive. And this one, I would suggest, I can see her tongue coming out. See her breathing just there, I think. I'm still not going to touch her. Oh, what a beautiful creature! But yeah, definitely on its on its tail, it seems to have been attacked. So I think that's the situation there. Yeah. Well, that was cool. I was not expecting to find a sea snake. Let's see if just up there there is a building. So I'm assuming that's part of what I can see above. But yeah, this is just a, a breakwater. I'm assuming from hurricanes and stuff like this. studio <laughs> oh my goodness so pretty basic it's kind of a good thing because if they're going to be left to rot they'll just sort of sink back into into nothing I think that this is all just some native natural material, bamboo fences and stuff. I guess maybe these stores functioned off the, the hotel working.
It's like a jail cell. Oh, this one's properly gone there. Jesus. I don't know where the entrance would be. Probably over ground. Oh, sketchy feeling floor. Damn. Oh, the winds. Oh, the winds is blowing. Damn. Oh, it feels like, because it's all wood, I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it being a bit sketchy underneath me. She's not lost in the jungle, hey? <laughs> oh, this one also. Not in good nick. I'm assuming these are the original ones they upgraded to the ones that we walked past the first. Yeah, because these things are just disintegrating. They're made out of just nothing. It's just sticks. spot to spend an afternoon I mean it's been an awesome day and look at that sunset just starting to bang in now look at my finger sorry about that <laughs> look at that oh, it's really difficult it's not gonna wait okay that's a little bit better I mean <laughs> you have to forgive me I don't only bring a GoPro I'm gonna get better at filming uh, I am supposed to be quite good at cinematography but yeah I just wanted to get these first videos out of the way oh, I'm sorry I can't show you how good that is but whew, just yeah bright banging orange but they are really cool look at these places just sitting out here empty falling apart honestly i can like appreciate this kind of falling apart because yeah it's gonna sort of like this will particularly the front ones will turn back into nature right they're all just gonna sort of like what rot down and turn into into mulch basically or for the most part that's that's what they're gonna end up doing so yeah for that kind of Abandonment, I really, I'm okay with this kind of stuff. Yeah, this is a good way to end the video, I think, right here. So it has been a beautiful day. I had a fail with the tree climbing. We did experience that, but it doesn't matter because it was a necessary one. A couple more videos left to do on the island of Colanta, and then I'm most likely flying to the Philippines. So who knows what is in store. I'm very excited for next week, and I will see you then. Yo! Yeah!